Ms. Mahalbahu, thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to uh, uh, continue our uh, discussion at the successful event in, back in March in the DFS Forum, where you gave a wonderful presentation about the recent developments and what's happening in the, uh, in the uh, payments arena in Jordan. Uh, mainly uh, Jomo Pay uh, and all the developments uh, and the new systems that were developed and uh, adopted by the Central Bank of Jordan. Uh, as the executive director of, uh, of the payments department uh, in the Central Bank, uh, there has been numerous questions uh, and given the limited uh, time available at the forum, uh, many people g uh, didn't get the chance to ask you these questions. So we are taking this opportunity to, uh, to ask these questions, discuss them, and get your feedback on them. Um, so what is the CBJ future plan to maintain uh, the proper delivery and use of digital financial services? This is very important. With technology and innovation, you cannot provide something then uh, stop improving. It's something like innovation is very fast and continue, very continuous. We need to keep on following up. For the current uh, and existing uh, delivery channels, we will keep on monitoring, assessing, supervising, even conducting mystery shoppers, analyzing everything, and we will keep on learning. Central Bank of Jordan, uh, I uh, need to admit, it's a very continuous learning uh, organization. And we keep on uh, having feedback from the market, uh, having uh, meetings, getting the needs from the market. And to facilitate even um, the adoption of new innovations in a very secured and efficient manner, we further need to be uh, fast and agile in regulating these services. So we are currently uh, uh, in the process of uh, communicating with many regulators, many institutions worldwide to check uh, the new technology of RegTech, where you, we, ca we have the marriage of regulation and technology, where we can benefit from having real-time online monitoring, data collection, assessing, so we are like working like 24 by 7 on, this, on these topics to enable keeping on improving, keeping on facilitating life of people, delivering these channels. We might even consider some unconventional channels like uh, schools, universities for their students where they can enroll in the, in the official financial services. We will not stop, we will never stop we will keep on improving, learning from others, and even trying to innovate. We got this question about having the proper dynamic framework and structure to support these services. Are we ready for, for that? So do we have this? Sure. Of course, we have a very uh, comprehensive framework whether from regulations or operations. From regulations, we're working on issuing a new bylaw for all electronic transaction and financial services. Uh, we are working on, as I mentioned earlier, uh, consu financial consumer protection law and full mechanism. Uh, we're working on improving the delivery channels, on uh, cooperating with all stakeholders to provide the full package, package of financial services, even not only uh, basic saving accounts, even could be in the future basic insurance uh, services. So this is something we will never stop on looking at. We already have a strategy, we already have an action plan, but we keep on improving it, revising it, learning, improving, any deviation from our plan is always well revised and monitored and uh, hopefully we will be able to face all the challenges with the innovation, with the challenges, with security challenges, cultural needs and adaptation. We are working on all these topics very hard and on a continuous uh, basis. Rec recent developments uh, actually uh, put uh, a big task 
on the shoulder of the central bank because now uh, the payment services are under your mandate mm -hmm. and uh, to supervise and regulate, which wasn't actually in the, in the near few, in the recent uh, past. And also I heard that the insurance uh, services will also move under your mandate. So that's a, a big task also to, to handle. So I can see that uh, there's a lot uh, uh, to do and you will you will be very busy in the in the recent future. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, to be frank with you, uh, mainly central banks, very conventional central banks, used to take care of uh, monetary policy, about banking supervision, and other types of uh, functions and services. But recently, we expanded our mandate. We included the microfinancial services within our umbrella, payment systems oversight and operations, uh, uh, financial literacy in terms of financial literacy, financial consumer protection, and recently, uh, uh, insurance. Financial Very inclusion. Challenge. Financial inclusion, this is something that became one of our priorities, yeah. uh, to be frank. We want to comply with uh, the world's vision for 2020, uh, less poverty, better life, uh, more financially included people, creating more jobs according to this uh, vision. Uh, the and central and bank accepted all these challenges and we're working very hard. This is something like adding all these together. It's not uh, an easy mission. It's a huge challenge, but uh, I'm confident we are up to it. Recently, the national, uh, the national uh, financial inclusion strategy was launched in Jordan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the process uh, to develop the national strategy, we're working on it. Uh, with the cooperation of uh, German, uh, Germany as uh, like uh, support for uh, this initiative. Uh, we started working on that. We will be hosting uh, in November this year as well uh, a very important event for women's financial inclusion and mm -hmm. women's uh, banking uh, event. So you already uh look at the central bank as not only the supervising and regulatory body but also as a partner in in promoting and and uh, 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 promoting these services we are to, partners yes we are partners yes. in all our services because our ultimate goal and objective is always to protect people protect institutions and ultimately to protect the economy and the country Final question uh, regarding the plans for uh, of the central bank of adopting a tiered based approach for KYC, and when we say that we does we don't mean also uh, not only for clients but also for agents and merchants. Uh, so any plans? Yes. Uh, yes, definitely. This is very critical. Central Bank of Jordan is very always very concerned about the integrity of our financial system. And we cannot jeopardize uh, this integrity, especially within the uh, situation we are living now and the geopolitical uh, risks surrounding Jordan. Um, we allowed simplified uh, KYC because it's a proportional risk management for individuals. But at the same t time, since all participants, whether individuals or merchants or agents or corporates, are registered within JomoPay, then tiering uh, KYC requirements uh, are a must and they are already embedded within the system. It applies as well on agents. For the principal to recruit agents, they need to conduct agents' due diligence, agents' KYC. Um, whether a uh, super agent or normal agent. And definitely for super agents, they will have to be more prudent and more cautious, as well as for merchants. And these are something very supportive to Jordan to adopt, because Jordan, since decades, we have a very comprehensive, robust uh, a national ID uh, system, scheme, 
uh, whether for individuals or for corporates. For registered corporates, they have it. Even for non-Jordanians or refugees, we still have a reference where we can identify the uh, identity of the user of this service. And uh, this is something all within the system and the protected. <coughs> JomoPay is as well linked to the national database of our uh, civil service uh, department. Again, thank you very much uh, for your time and for the, uh, the information that you provided. I'm sure you covered um, all the questions that were pending after the forum. Uh, would you like to add anything? Uh, first, you are almost welcome, and we are always here to answer any questions. Uh, this is something that Central Bank of Jordan uh, would love always to follow the approach of being very transparent to all market participants, to understand what we are doing, to cooperate in a better manner. Again, thank you very much. You are most welcome.